welcome back to the channel today I have something uh, a little out of the ordinary for me but maybe not who knows this channel you know I cover everything now today we have something to talk about because Hideo Kojima went to Tweeten again yesterday I uh, snapped a few pictures and posted them to Twitter and then again this morning uh, first glance I was like hmm I'm looking into these pictures and I'm thinking this could be very telling Maybe I'll do a video on it. Then I'm like, ah. Then he tweeted again today, this morning, and I am all over. And I'm like, I smell a story. And you know, I'm going to cover it. And I'm going to talk about it on the channel. I cannot wait for OCD Gaming News next week. It is too far away. So this is important because it has to do with Death Stranding. And you know, I'm all about that game. I cannot wait for it to come out. I'm obsessed with it. I am so in love with it already. So let's get to it. And let's break down this tea. We're going to go all the way back to March 10th, 2017, when Hideo Kojima tweeted out this picture. I am not playing around part of my job. And we can see in this picture, at the time we had no idea, but not. let's flash forward nine months into the future to the Video Game Awards. In December of 2017, Hideo Kojima dropped the very lengthy, uh, the eight-minute Death Stranding trailer and in this trailer we see the scene that is portrayed here in his tweet from March. This is the exact scene played out for us with the truck overturned, with the injured soldier, with Norman Reedus, the baby, taking the baby from the injured soldier and the other soldiers trying to help the other guy who's stuck under the truck who is injured. And we see how that all played out in that trailer. So now yesterday when I see this tweet and these pictures of Hideo Kojima working and he pulled out the same Legos and the, the and, and all the characters uh, and he has them set up in a very particular way and I think we should break it down and talk about it and see what this might mean for Death Stranding and maybe a trailer for E3. I don't know if he'll release something again for E3. There's nothing been said. But whatever it is, I'm going to keep an eye out for it because I know there is something brewing. He is working on it. This is how he works. He is a visual worker. He likes to see things played out. He's been doing that since uh, since Metal Gear Solid. So let's break this down and see what we can figure out what he is trying to tell us or maybe not tell us in these pictures. Okay, so the first picture is of Hideo Kojima. He is at work, he is looking down, and he has some figures set up on his desk. Now there is a big green monster, which could be one of our big, uh, one of our bad guys. Maybe, uh, I don't think it's Mads. I think it could be one of these monsters or entities that we see in the trailer, these giant entities. I think that's what the uh, green monster is representing in this play he is conjuring up. And there are three soldiers lined up. So two of the soldiers are dressed in black. One is dressed in white. I am assuming that one of these characters is the Mads Mikkelsen's character. And I am assuming the soldier in white is representing Porter, Sam Porter, uh, maybe Sa uh, Sam, I should say. Sam, who is the Porter or whose last name is Porter is represented by the soldier dressed in white as quote unquote the good guy. I just think it's symbolic that he would represent them uh, by color. So in the next picture we see the monster or the entity in the background. And there is one of the soldiers in black. I am assuming that this character is the Mads Mikkelsen character and he is with Norman Reedus for some reason Whenever, uh, when he saw Norman Reedus recognize him in the last trailer, he didn't um, come for him, you know, so he just gave the shush motion. And my deep down, like crazy theory, I don't think Mads Mikkelsen is the bad guy, archetype bad guy. I think there are layers to him and I think it is a lot more than good guy, bad guy. So I think that he is either working silently with Sam, Norman Reedus' character. I don't think it's that cut and dry that he's the bad guy and Norman Reedus is the good guy. I think they might be a little bit of both. So they are facing down the entity or the monster. I have a feeling we're going to be seeing this in the next trailer, flash forward maybe to next video game awards or PSX. I don't think we'll see anything for E3 since we got such a meaty and juicy trailer in December, but I hope we do. Okay, so now if this doesn't shake you to the core, 
so now we have the baby, the infamous baby. This baby is the center, I think, of the crux of this game. They are all surrounding the baby. I think the baby is the whole clue, like the big puzzle piece missing from this scenario of this game that we have no idea what is going on. We have, we still have no idea what's taking place in this game. Nobody does except Hideo Kojima. But I am thrilled to see that the baby is there. They are all looking at the baby, bad characters, good characters, they all there. Now in, I think it was the first trailer where you see that the baby leaves Norman Reedus. If you really squint, if you really squint like with one eye open, if you really squint, you can see that um, it looks like one of the five figures in the sky. One of them is holding the baby. It looks like his all, everyone else's arms are down. His arms are up. The baby is gone. We think that since now the baby has had the, the, the handprints and now he is in another dimension. I think he is now with the entities in the sky. Now... Today's tweet, this morning's tweet, my time. Now, here is the next picture. There are four adults and one monster in the middle. One, like, for lack of a better term, since one entity in the middle, non-human entity. And it looks like there are two small children, your younger children, a boy and a girl, on the right side of the picture. And then there is, like, little baby flashlight, which he took a picture of and said it lights up too. And he put this in the picture. Is this like some sort of technology we haven't seen yet? We've seen the technology of the arm, the sensor that comes up to warn us. We've seen the baby in the artificial womb, but what other technology haven't we seen? I think there's a there's obviously so much more we don't know, but here we have the four figures. I'm thinking it's Mads, Norman Reedus, Guillermo del Toro, and I don't know, another fourth person. We have only seen three main characters so far. Maybe that one is representing the reanimated soldiers. I'm not sure who the fourth one is. It's hidden. Maybe the female figure, which we know he has been, uh, there is some talk about a female lead in this as well. And I think that's the one that's hidden behind. So I'm kind of shook by these pictures, guys. Now, who is the little girl and the little boy? There, I mean, there's so many layers. I don't, I don't even know how to explain this. And the light, it could be a sensor. I don't know. But I am just bringing you the news. I am reporting to you from the front lines because, you know, I am on this stuff and I am always looking for information to share with you guys. Will we see this scene play out in the next trailer whenever it may come out? I, I'm hoping we see something in E3, but I don't think we're going to. I'm either thinking... You know, Jeff Keighley and Hideo Kojima are BFFs. He'll probably show it at Video Game Awards. That's what he's done the last two years. I'm hoping that we will see this play out and introducing these new characters, a boy, a girl, a maybe possible female lead. Uh, who could it be? I don't know. Nobody knows. This is just my theory. This is my analysis of these cryptic pictures and if you haven't followed him on instagram you have to follow him on instagram because he posts the most amazing pictures all right guys so what do you think of these pictures do you think it's going to be telling of the next trailer that's coming up will we see this actually play out in the game i am so excited to see what hideo has for us he's a fucking genius and i cannot wait to find out what he is going to do next. Until then, we are going to be holding our breath and saying our prayers that we will get some news, any news, out of E3 and from Kojima Productions. So until then, I will be waiting impatiently. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll be back with more.